Single Pilot Operations Mastering Control. As a single pilot operator, you manage every element of every flight. Navigation, communication systems, and of course, aircraft control, often in complex, high-pressure environments. And while cockpit technology continues to evolve, the demand on the pilot has never been greater. Single pilot operations are now common and growing across a wide range of aircraft from high-performance pistons to business jets, and often with workloads rivaling airline cockpits, but without the benefit of a second pilot. In this environment, loss of control in flight remains the leading cause of fatal accidents. More than ever, single pilot operators require the best training, as they arguably have one of the most difficult and demanding roles in pilot safety, effectiveness, and risk management. For example, both the National Business Aviation Association's 2024 Top Focus Safety Areas and Aviation International News confirm single pilot operations carry significantly greater risk than multi-crew flights. NBAA states single pilot aircraft are 30% more likely to be involved in an accident than an aircraft with a dual pilot crew. AIN echoes this, noting that aircraft flown single pilot are 30% more likely to be in an accident, making it important for these pilots to improve their risk management skills. However, this isn't just a single pilot problem. These vulnerabilities exposed in these operations highlight the importance of proactive training, structured procedures, and disciplined flying across all professional flight decks. Let's not forget this so true reality shared by Archilochus over 2,500 years ago. We don't rise to the level of our expectations, we fall to the level of our training. This wisdom is true in every cockpit, not just single pilot operations, where situational awareness, aeronautical decision making, and flight management competencies and discipline, not good intentions, relentlessly drive safe outcomes. The good news for single pilot operators is that we are not alone. Multiple aviation safety organizations have addressed these issues directly, particularly in the context of single pilot ops. The Flight Safety Foundation's Flight Path Management Guide from 2014 emphasizes that in single pilot environments, breakdowns in flight path monitoring are often linked to inadequate mental models and unexpected automation behavior, where no second pilot is available to detect or correct deviations. The FAA's Single Pilot Career Resource Management Guide promotes using the five Ps. Plan, plane, pilot, passengers, and programming as a real-time decision-making framework especially critical for single pilot operators managing workload without support. The MBAA Risk Management Guide for Single Pilot Light Business Aircraft highlights that loss of control in flight is frequently the final event in a cascading chain of poor risk management. Chains that often go unbroken in a single pilot scenario due to lack of monitoring and challenge response dynamics. The MBAA Very Light Jet and Technically Advanced Aircraft Training Guidelines stress that single pilot transitions into advanced aircraft require structured training, mentor pilot programs, and a commitment to proficiency that extends well beyond initial certification. Together, it's all clear. While manual handling proficiency remains essential and central to reliable aircraft control, especially given increased reliance on automation, these accidents often begin upstream in a multiple link air chain. So misguided priorities, saturation, and distraction degrade threat and error management. Unfortunately, when the final layer of defense, pilot intervention, is needed the most, today's licensing standards fall short of preparing pilots for the realities that they face. A paradigm shift in training is required. So enter modern upset prevention and recovery training to mitigate loss of control in flight, or simply LOCI. Let's go ahead and get to some examples. Here's a short list of two fairly recent single pilot accidents for a variety of categories of fixed wing airplanes. Let's go ahead and double click on two. First, in 2022, a Beechcraft Baron was conducting an RNAV approach in IMC. The pilot reported gyro issues, executed a missed approach, and then entered erratic flight before descending into a lake. The NTSB found spatial disorientation and a loss of control following a perceived instrumentation issue. No mechanical failures were found. Second, in 2019, a Citation S2 operating single pilot departed Indianapolis Regional and within seconds entered a steep left bank at an unusually low power setting and stalled before fatally impacting the ground. There were no system failures, the engines were producing power. The pilot failed to fully advance the throttles to manage energy and angle of attack for controlled flight. In both cases, complexity, task saturation, and breakdowns in awareness led to fatal outcomes. 
From 2014 to 2023, the NTSB reports that loss of control on flight was the leading cause of single pilot fatalities in every general aviation segment. 39% in single pilot general aviation business, 26% in single pilot part 135 on demand operations, and a whopping 71% in single pilot corporate executive operations. Now, we should look to the general aviation community to think that, well, this must be much better than instructional. However, we take a look at the data and it shows 43% single pilot instructional flights. And of course, we see personal flying following the model of instruction at 44% of personal flying. We also see in federal public aircraft use for single pilot operations, 60% are due to loss of control on flight and a whopping 75% in local public aircraft use. This is not random, it's a core deficiency of the training system. Even more concerning though, when operating single pilot by design, the redundancy of a pilot monitoring and increased situational awareness typically built into a crew are absent. The odds of being aware of escalating unsafe flight conditions, recognizing the need to intervene early, and worst case, recovering from an upset in a timely and effective manner drop significantly. These are repeatable, predictable events, and they are certainly preventable. Industry guidance points to clear causes and actions, particularly for single pilot operations. First, automation monitoring. Flight Safety Foundation recommends maintaining a high sample rate scan and verifying automation modes. Cognitive saturation. The FAA emphasizes using the five P's at phase transitions to manage workload. Manual flight proficiency. The Flight Safety Foundation calls for regular manual flying to sustain control precision. Training gaps. MBAA stresses structured transition programs and mentor pilot support. Unstable approaches. MBAA promotes strict stabilized approach criteria and mandatory go-around triggers. Now keep in mind that a robust upset prevention recovery training program reinforces and augments these industry best practices, not contradict them. If it does, then you're getting the wrong kind of training. The most effective countermeasure is targeted quality proven training, specifically upset prevention and recovery training, structured, delivered, and optimized in direct alignment with the Every Pilot and Control Solution Standard, or EPIC S2. EPIC S2 compliant UPRT provides the following. Early upset recognition and mental model alignment. Energy state control and flight envelope awareness through disciplined manual flight effective flight path management at all phases of flight, and finally, ingrained resilience to execute standardized effective upset prevention and recovery techniques under pressure. Quality training is not at all about aerobatics. It's about building the competence and mindset to maintain control when automation fails, workload spikes, and time runs out. When operating single pilot, you are the final authority and the final safeguard. There is no safety net beyond your own preparation. At APS, we know that safety is not achieved by checking boxes that's earned through discipline, skill, and readiness. Mastery is built in training, sharpened through practice, and proven in the moments you never saw coming. Because everything depends on you, and your training must be enough. Remember, every pilot trained in control all the time. It's more than just a buzz phrase, it's our brand promise at APS, and it's all about helping you bring everyone home safely on every flight. Okay, folks, let's stay sharp and take action together to save lives. You got this.